Dude, I love Rayman too. They expanded on it a little bit in the PS2 version. There's like an open world kind of. Well, not, not really an open world, but you can like travel between like levels and shit. Like you can actually walk from one level to another. It's really cool, dude. That game is so good, man. So good. You think I want to play Mario right now? Do you really think I want to play Mario right now? When Elden Ring is out. When Gran Turismo 7 is out. I'm here because I'm disciplined, bro. I'm here because I want to be great. You don't think I want to be playing Elden Ring right now? It's, it's days like this. It's moments like this. It's times of desperation, of struggle, of sadness. These days eventually pay off. One day when I look back at my 70 PB, I'll remember these times and all the work that it took. It's because of a day like this. It's because of a shit day like this that I can be great no more, you know? You gotta take your licks. It always starts so well, man. That's the only thing. The first few runs are always, like, so good. And then it just snowballs. I do feel a little bit better after the break, though. I feel a little bit more awake. Mario, please. Thank you, Mario. Here we go! Mario! Alright. It's not the prettiest run. It's not the hottest run. It's not the most popular run. But it's our run. And we love it. And I'm doing the wrong start. Jesus Christ. How do I back this up? This is gonna be a reset. This is gonna turn into a reset. Can you believe this? Can you believe what I'm capable of, man? Can you believe this, man? That's just focus. That's like, as soon as I grabbed like the second to last red, I thought I was out of the woods. I thought I was good. And I completely forgot, I actually forgot that there was one more red I needed to get. So I went straight for the ring of coins. It's just a focus, like, stamina thing. I'm just out of gas, bro. Like, that, I, I can't explain it any other way. It's either that or I just don't care. And there's no way I don't care. I wouldn't be here if I didn't care. You know? This old man just doesn't have any more stamina, dude. He needs some rhino pills. He needs some Mushroom Kingdom Viagra, bro. Something. You believe Tom Brady's coming back to the NFL after he retired? I need to call that dude and tell him what washed up his life. I could save him from the misery. Oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, man. This is just the process. This is just the tough road it takes to get there, you know? It's gonna, I'm gonna 47. I just don't know if it's gonna be this week or this year or next year. I, I don't know. What's more important to me is trying not to get caught up in the moment and trying to enjoy this journey. Like, like seriously. But I can't. I'm having a very difficult time not getting frustrated. You know, you know, like. I did return to this game with a lot of wisdom and a lot of experience and I have like a good outlook but when the emotions get going, when the emotions get going, you, you can't control them. I can't help but be depressed when I'm having a day like this. I'm trying to enjoy this process. I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Right? I'm working my ass off. There hasn't been one time where I've worked for something in this game and I haven't achieved my goal. Not once. I'm still waiting. It will happen, but, you know, barring a catastrophe, I, I, my hand falls off or something. That actually hurt. It's just, I want to enjoy it, you know? I, at this time, I want to enjoy the process. I've done, a, I've, done, I've done a much better job, but I still get caught up, man. I get caught up. It, it really gets to me sometimes, you know? I'm not really a fan of, like, NFL teams. I like players. I follow, like... I'll, like, if a certain player is exciting, I'll watch them. I'm not, like, a big NFL guy or anything. But I do respect... I respect the ballers. And the two players that we're gonna trade to another team... Hell yeah, I do the same thing! That's a ticket to the Super Bowl, bro. 
Anybody that has Tom Brady knows they're going to the Super Bowl, which means more money, more playing time. They play longer in the season, more chances to make an impression with the coaching staff, more chances to get more money. It's just the smartest thing in the world. Tom Brady makes everybody around him better. He's a legend, bro. He's, he's a true GOAT. He is a legend. Um, is he not going to just see out his contract, or did his contract end, Sona? Brady's. Rodgers, I mean, obviously, nobody deserves that much money, but he deserves to be the highest paid quarterback. He's, he's literally the best. Rodgers is insane, bro. One thing I always know, I don't know shit about football, but I always notice just how crispy his release is. Fucking Rodgers. How quick it is and how smooth it is. Like, I know, I know what's pretty. Like, I, I, I've never seen football before, and I don't watch it much, but I know a good release, and I know a nice-looking throw when I see one. Like, holy fuck, bro. He gets it out of there immediately, and it's such a fluid, like, beautiful motion. Like, it's sick, dude. Oh, so he's gonna get a new contract. Yeah, he's probably gonna do, like, a fucking massive one year. Like, 60 million or something. Or he might take a pay cut. I don't think he cares about money. I don't think Brady gives a fuck, bro. He's got... He's got multiple generation, generational wealth. Cause he wouldn't come back for no money. He don't give a fuck about the money. He's probably, he's probably taking a pay cut. That way, all his boys can come back on. Which even says more about him, you know. I mean, I don't know if that's a fact. But I feel like he'd be one of those guys that would do it. Cause like he's universally accepted as the goat. You know, there's not too many people that argue against it. You know, literally the greatest of all time. Cause he's always had. Well, he hasn't always had great teams. You know. Like in New England, there were so many times he dragged that team to victory. I mean, obviously, it's different in football. Everybody has to do their job, but he didn't have a lot of talent, you know? They made the most of their talent. But it's not like he ever had, like, amazing receivers. I think he had Randy Moss for, like, a season or something. He's always had, like, average. And he's had Gronkowski, of course. He just makes the most out of everybody, bro. What clothing brand sponsors Brady? Is it Nike? Is it Adidas? I'm sure he's making more just off of that endorsement deal. He probably has a lifetime deal, first of all. And he's probably making more off of that than he'd ever make in football. Those contracts are insane, bro. The Nike and Adidas contracts. Mario. Done trying to just keep bashing your head. It'll break. Hello. It will break. Honestly, at this point, it's kind of just Mario. The right thing to do is to be like, "Yo, we tried," you know. I mean, it's clear. It's clear I'm not getting anywhere quickly, dude. Now I'm just trying to brute force it. Which never ends well, but... I'll be able to live with myself later today knowing that I tried my best instead of, like, calling it short, you know? So, for as small a victory as that may be, I'll take it. I'll suffer now. Fuck it. $80 shirts. Such a rip off my bottom. Oh, are you really No, you have to do the research. I'm just asking, like, in general. You know, just a general idea is, like, yeah, does that dude even have any records to break? Maybe a couple insignificant ones. Guys, it's actually the run. I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is the run. This is close to a 46. Oh yeah, guys, 12 set. Wait, like, IRL ghost hunting stream? That sounds fucking exciting. And then you didn't catch shit because ghosts don't exist. Sorry, Demo, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know I had to do it. You know I had to do it. Wait! Were you not IRL ghost hunting? Aw, oh, you were ghost hunting in a game? Well, now, oh, now that sucks. Everything's gonna suck compared to IRL ghost hunting, bro. Are you kidding? Now you're fucked. You should've just went along with it. It's, uh, it's this mentality, though, that really holds me back. This is basically like a dead run to me, even though it's literally ahead of the best run I've ever had, you know? If I continue runs like this, at least I'm not resetting, you know? I just have a terrible mentality. Man, I'm so self-aware. <laughs> but I can't fix it. It's so sad. Yeah, can you believe it? I know, I know like when you frame it from like you guys' perspective. Thank you, Bolo, by the way. I appreciate the sub. Have a good day, man. 
Thanks for watching. When you frame it through your experience or perspective, it's gotta sound crazy, right? Coming from me saying this run is basically dead, like, what do you mean, you idiot? You're ahead. You know, like, trust me, I, I know how stupid it looks. I know. But man, this is just like a dead run. This is like a dead run to me. Because it's not what I want, you know? But I also know that I better fucking focus and continue this run because anything is better than resetting. This is going to be like a 724 or something. When it should have been like a 7, 714. You know, you know what I mean? Like that, that's massive. That is absolutely massive. But at least we're out of wants, man. I just took a fucking huge breath of relief. So maybe I can start believing in this run.